Okay, welcome to problem number one in the free response section of the 2013 AP Calculus AP, AB exam. Okay, notice I've highlighted some of the important things here. Uh, the first thing is function g of t is the rate in tons per hour at which unprocessed gravel arrives at a processing plant. The time t is measured in hours and we're interested in interval here from 0 to 8. And then in green I highlighted some additional stuff we'll use later which is that at the beginning of the workday the plant already has 500 tons of unprocessed gravel available for processing and the plant processes gravel at a constant rate of 100 tons each hour. The first thing we're going to do is analyze the units. Okay, notice I've drawn the graph here, just the axes of the graph that is. G is measured in tons per hour and the horizontal axis uh, times measured in hours. That means for this problem if we want to know how many tons per hour of gravel is is hanging around there, we're going to actually read the graph off G of T. And then if we want to know how many tons per hour per hour uh, is going on, then we're going to have to do the derivative of G. And then if we want to know the tons of un unprocessed gravel, then that's going to mean we're going to have to perform the integral of G. So that gives us a basic idea of what the math functions are going to be for this problem. Okay, part A. Find g prime of 5 using correct units. Interpret your answer in the context of the problem. Okay, so g prime of 5, we're going to basically uh, have put g of t in the calculator in y1, since this is a calculator problem. And then we're going to do uh, math 8, get the numeric derivative function, put y1 in there, then with respect to x, and then at uh, 5. And then the calculator will give us a numeric answer. At that point, then we're going to say, hey, that numeric answer, the correct units for that, it's going to be tons per hour squared. And the meaning of that in the context of this problem is how fast, this is the rate of change of G, which is how, many, how fast the tons per hour rate is changing itself per hour. So, and that should conclude part A. Part B, find the total amount of unprocessed gravel that arrives at the plant during the hours of operation on this workday. Okay, first thing is the total amount of unprocessed gravel that arrives, that's going to be tons. And as we've already seen, tons is going to be the integral of G of T for the amount of unprocessed gravel. So basically what that means is we're going to take the integral of G of T dt my pen skills with the mouse here aren't too great. And we're going to do that over the interval that the plant uh, operates during the day, which is from 0 to 8. Okay, so you need to write that equation down so you can tell the AP grader what you're doing. Put an equal sign there, now put that in your calculator. Uh, math 9, y1 with respect to x from 0 to 8, hit equals, and then you're going to have a numeric result that you're going to copy down as we talked about earlier. The units for this result are going to be tons, and that's tons of unprocessed gravel that's arrived at the plant. And that concludes very quickly there, part B. Okay, for part C, is the amount of gravel, or the, I'm sorry, the amount of unprocessed gravel at the plant increasing or decreasing at t equals 5 hours? Show the work that leads to your answer. Okay, so basically what's going on here is we're, we're going to say, hey, <coughs> the amount of unprocessed gravel, so what's the rate at which it's increasing or decreasing? So this is going to be tons per hour. So basically we're going to read this off uh, the graph itself. So and everything here is about when the t equals 5 hours. Now, here's the thing. If I draw the plant, so here's the plant. Got a big building here like this. Got to have some smokestacks here going, smoke and stuff for processing. Okay, <coughs> we've got the amount of gravel going in. And what tells us the amount of uh, uh, gravel going into the plant here is that's g of t. Okay, so that th that's the rate at which gravel is arriving at the plant. And then the rate at which the gravel is being processed, that's the 100 tons per hour, and that's a constant. So that's going to be 100 here. And that's in units of tons per hour. And notice both of these are like units. So G of T is tons per hour. The 100 is tons per hour. 
So this is the input, this is the output. So how do we tell if the amount of gravel at the plant is increasing or decreasing? Easy. We're going to find G of 5. And once we calculate what G of 5 is, if G of 5 is greater than 100, That means the amount of uh, gravel in the plant is increasing. So the stockpile gravel outside the plant itself is getting larger. And if G of 5, the rate at which the gravel arrives at the plant, I've got a better looking 5 there, okay, is less than 100, then we know the plant's processing the gravel faster than it's arriving, and therefore the, the amount of unprocessed gravel at the plant will be decreasing. And then either one of these statements, depending which one it applies, of course, is the actual justification for your answer. So that's the work you want to show to get the credit for uh, justifying your answer. And that concludes Part C. Okay, Part D, the last part for the problem number one. What is the maximum amount of unprocessed gravel at the plant during the hours of operation on this workday? justify your answer. Okay, here's my calculator and I have the graphs uh, shown here. The first one here, this curve starting up high and about 135 going down to about um, 45 and then starting back up is the G of T function and then this horizontal line here is the output function that's the 100 tons per hour. So again the vertical axis here is tons per hour, horizontal axis is hours. Okay, let me turn the calculator back on just so you know where my window is. I set the domain from 0 to 8, and then uh, x min and, and or I'm sorry, y min and y max to 40 and 140 respectively. And I set the scale, the tick marks, to 10 for easy reading. So there's the graph. So what does this graph mean? It says, hey, as long as g of t is greater than 100, okay, the amount of gravel in the, at the plant, unprocessed gravel, is increasing. And then at this time right here, they're equal, so the plant's processing just as much gravel as is coming in at that exact moment in time. And then after that moment, for the remainder of the, the hours of the plant operation, all the way from this point to 8, then notice that G of T is less than 100. So at this point, the amount of unprocessed gravel will be decreasing. So when is the amount of unprocessed gravel at a maximum? Right at this point right here, because it starts out at 700 tons, or 500 tons, right here at the beginning of the day it comes in faster than it's going out all the way up until this time right here and then at that point the pile reduces because it's going out for the rest of the time faster than it's um, than it's coming in so this is the point of maximum amount of gravel is that point there so we're going to calculate that so I'm going to go second trace find the zero let me slide this up just a hair so we do the zero function uh, left bound that's cool there that's at 4. Let's do a right bound of 7. And then a guess of about 5. I notice, oops, no sign change. Why is that? Let's go back to there. Graph. Well, let's go here. Second trace. 0. Left bound. There, right bound. And cursor back close in the intersection point. There's my guess. Hmm. I'll have to stop and figure out why that is. Okay, I know why that is. That's because I'm looking for the root. That's silly. I don't want to find the root. I want to find the intersection of the two functions. Because this is not the x-axis. This is the line of y2 equals 100. So how about the intersection of functions? That's what I want. So second calculate the intersection of the two functions y1 is the cosine function, the g of t, the second curve, y2 is the one, the constant 100 function, the guess there, there we go, 4.923. Okay, so I'm going to get a text box here and go t is equal to 4.923. So I don't lose that. Alright, so what is the maximum amount of unprocessed gravel at the plant during the hours of operation? The T is important here. So now what we have to do is actually figure out how much gravel 
is sitting there. So what this is going to be, this is going to be the initial amount of gravel, which is 500 tons. Okay, plus the amount of gravel that's come in in this time. So this is going to be the integral of g of t dt. in that time period, and that time period is going to be from 0 to 4.923. And then we're going to subtract out the amount of gravel that's processed. The amount of the gravel that's processed is the constant 100 tons per hour times 4.923 hours. So that's going to be 492 point three tons. Now find the value of that expression right there and that's going to be your answer. And justify your answer all you're going to have to write is hey because g of t is greater than uh, 100 when t is less than 4.923 and g of t is less than 100 whenever t is greater than 4.923 Therefore, the time at 4.923 has to be the maximum of the time when I have the maximum amount of unpressed gravel on hand, and this is the equation that represents that. And we are done. Hope you enjoyed this video.